Welcome to HCG University, and thank you for viewing this sample of our advanced spreadsheet reporting class. This brief excerpt of our full course will introduce the use of buttons in automating an S-Base report. You will find our contact information at the end of this video, and please visit us on the web at www.harbinger-group.com. Now that we've talked about some of the advanced S-Base commands, let's move on to the topic of automating an S-Base report. Let's say you had an S-Base report like this that you wanted to give to someone, but they knew nothing about S-Base. They didn't know how to connect, they didn't know how to retrieve, they didn't know how to disconnect, and you want to make it easier for them to do so. You can add things like buttons and combo boxes and list boxes, etc., by using a toolbar called the Forms Toolbar. I'm going to go to View in the Excel menu, toolbars and open up this toolbar called the forms toolbar. And in this toolbar it allows me to do things like create buttons, check boxes, option buttons, list boxes, and combo boxes in order to automate my reports. First thing I'm going to do is add a button. So I'm going to click on the button button which gives me the crosshairs for my cursor and I'm just going to draw a button. Left click and drag. Immediately when I release the button on my mouse, it automatically opens up this Assign Macro dialog in which I enter the name of a macro to perform when the button is pressed. Now let's talk about some S-Base macros. There are three that we're going to discuss right now. One called ESS Connect, ESS Retrieve and ESS Disconnect. And I simply, in the macro name area, type in one of the macro names called ESS Connect. I click the OK button, and then I click outside of the button, and then click the button itself, and I get the, the Connect dialog. So I'll connect. Enter my password, press enter to get the list of applications and databases available, and log in to Sample Basic. But the button is not too descriptive of the action it performs, so I do want to edit it further. Now I'm going to right click this button, and a pop up menu might appear. And the reason I say might is because in your S Base options that we've discussed earlier, you might have an option in your global tab set called Enable Secondary Button, which is your right-clicking button. And if you have that checked, you will not be able to get the pop-up menu when you right-click the button on your sheet. So uncheck that if you have it checked, and then right-click the button, and you get a pop-up menu, including an item called Edit Text. And once I select Edit Text, I can say something like, enter something like connect instead of button one there. There's my first button. Then I'll add a second button. I'll just add it underneath the first one here. And when I release it again, I've got my assign macro dialog. And in this case, I'm going to type in ESS retrieve. Click on OK. Before executing it, I might as well edit the text already for this button and call it Retrieve. And then when I press the button, since I've already connected, it should retrieve the data. And lastly, I'll add a third button. And in the Assign Macro dialog, simply type in ESS Disconnect. Click on OK, drag across and edit the text, call it Disconnect, click outside of the button, and click the button again. But before I click the button, I want to prove that we are connected, so I'll go to the Disconnect dialog and see that we are connected to Sample Basic and Sheet 1. And when I connect, click the Disconnect button here, what has happened? 
This time I go to ESS base disconnect command and you see that there are no active connections. It has done the disconnect.